Chess friends, today I will show you the most incredible chess game I have ever seen in my life, as Eurus shared this immortal chess game with me. Successful people do what unsuccessful people are not willing to do, don't wish it were easier, wish you were better, so let's go, Stockcat started the game with d4, we have knight f6 knight f3, and they played the standard opening, queen's gambit declined, traditional variation bishop g5, e3 and the bishop wants to go d3 to target the king side where queen can join the attack, therefore black will develop his pieces simply, bishop here queen here and after some moves later, stockcat played h4. Maybe he is a subscriber of stockfish, his idea is to play castle in queenside to involve the rook to attack the king file, he can also push the pawns to attack the king pawns in future, Komodo played h6 and stockcat played castle in long side, if you dare to take the bishop, then after pawn captured, queen and rook is line up on there and the pawn is targeting to the knight, you have to play g6 and white will not play pawn takes knight, he will play bishop d3 to add pressure to the pawn. Here if you think like a 60 IQ people and play knight e8 then white will sacrifice his bishop, takes takes and the position will be dead lost for you, so back to the position, black played a6 and cat sacrificed his pawn, knight takes g4 bishop h4, you can't take the bishop so he retreats his knight on f6, rook e1 by cat but best was to play rook g1 to put the rook in front of the king, so after takes we have rook g1, you still can't take the bishop so we have king h8, bishop h4 and komodo played c5. Tries to open up the center position, here stockcat played bishop takes e6, sacrificing the bishop, if you take it then queen g6 will come to target it with rook, so rook g8 then white will play knight g5, it's not queen h7 checkmate, and you can't take the pawn because the rook will activate on h file and it will be a force checkmate, black have to play queen e8 to offer queen exchange, white will show middle finger to black by playing knight f7 check, you have to take it then you will lose your queen. Game will be over for black so back to the position, we have b5, here best move is to sacrifice the rook on g7. Let me show you the variation, this is coming, bishop takes pawn is coming, so if you take the rook, then rook g1 check will come, king backs bishop takes pawn f takes e6, then bishop g7 check king here takes, king has to run then it will be mate on g6, king will be totally exposed and the game will be over, but in our actual game, cat didn't find rook takes g7, instead he played knight d5. Have you ever seen a position similar to this? Both pieces are under attack but you can't even touch one of them, if you play knight takes d5, then after takes, it will target to this rook, rook ups then knight g5 will come, you can't take the knight with pawn because the file will be open, so after bishop takes g5, pawn takes, bishop to b7. Try to eliminate this bishop, white will play g6, f6, then stockcat will sacrifice his rook on h6, takes and g6 check, it's a mate, king have no square to go, so back to the position, if you dare to take the bishop on e6 then white will play queen g6, king have some weak points and after rook g8, we will capture the knight, bishop takes knight then we will sacrifice the knight on g5 again to checkmate him on h7, so after takes, takes, this is coming so queen e7, g takes h6 rook to d8, takes king slides on g8 then it will mate by rook h8. Always bear in mind that your own resolution to success is more important than any other one thing, back to the position, Komodo takes the center pawn but better was to play bishop e7 to eliminate the knight, here best move for black is to play knight c5, after takes black will take back his material, but Komodo played knight h5 blunder move, best move for stockcat is to take the pawn but he played knight g5 to devile a checkmate on h7, you can't take the knight because after takes. The file will be totally open, and if you dare to take the bishop, then it will be a checkmate on h7, so in this position we have f5, try to block the diagonal and creating space for the rook, so we have bishop c7, what an incredible game, have you ever seen this four pieces minority involvement attack in center and king side? It's a computer chess game, not like any 200 elo rated chess game, seems like brilliant but it's full of blunder, we have queen e8 rook e1, getting the file to target this bishop, you still can't take the knight let me show you the variation, takes takes queen takes e7 bishop, d5 queen here takes, 
queen takes check f4 with bishop support, so queen here and we will play queen g2, you cannot take the queen because of rook takes knight which will be a checkmate, so king h7 rook takes knight, queen takes, rook h1 and you will lose your queen, Komodo played knight f6 to target the bishop, we have queen takes pawn bishop b7, knight takes f6 knight takes knight, rook to h3, it's not the correct move, best was to push the d-pawn as long as you can, we have bishop g2 rook to h2, pawn takes g5 and any normal human will take the pawn with a rook check, but it's not the right move because of knight h5, it is well protected and rook is targeting to the queen. If queen g4 then bishop f3 will arrive to target it with rook support, queen here queen g6 position will be complicated for white because he have no attacks, your all efforts and brilliant sacrifices will be wasted for one wrong move. When everything seems to be going against you, remember that the airplane takes off against the wind, not with it, so back to the position, we have rook takes g2, this is coming so he pushed the g-pawn with knight support, here stockcat sacrificed his rook, however it's not the correct move, best was to play bishop e5 to eliminate the knight first, ok we have knight takes rook queen takes knight, here black should play rook f6. To protect the rank from any incoming attacks, but Komodo didn't subscribe to my YouTube channel, for that reason he played a mistake move by taking the pawn, we have rook g1 to target this pawn, g6, bishop back to g3, rook backs all the way to f8 but rook f6 was best, so bishop f5 check, king ups, and after some moves later, black decided to sacrifice his queen on f1. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.